now. This is gonna be kind of embarrassing, but let me try to do that right now. <laughs> it works every time. So I have not made a video of my Staffordshire Bull Terrier in so long guys. So here's a little update for you. And I'm gonna be giving you five facts that you didn't know about the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. And this isn't gonna be just the common knowledge about the breed, you know, it's gonna be some of that, but it's also gonna be my experience of owning a Staffy, my first dog um, that I've owned just, you know, I grew up with dogs, but my first actual dog since not living with my parents. So I'm gonna give you the scoop on what it's like, you know, living with a Staffordshire Bull Terrier. So since he's just chilling with me, I figured I'd talk about loyalty. Guys, Staffies are the most loyal and affectionate dog. This is number one facts about, about Staffy, so. If you're feeling down or you're even, say you're, you're crying, you can pretend to cry in front of a staffy, and you know what he's gonna do? He's gonna sprint over to you and he's gonna lick your face. Now, this is gonna be kind of embarrassing, but let me try to do that right now. <laughs> it works every time. You act like you're gonna cry, and he comes and cheers you up. Good job, puppy. So guys, most affectionate dog ever. And here's another fact, okay? This isn't gonna be part of the top five, but whenever you, I don't know if I, maybe I train him to do this, okay? But they're, they're really smart. Whenever I say shadow and he looks at me, he looks me dead in the eyes. A lot of dogs, you look at them and they're just like, they're, they're not looking at you, they're looking kind of through you, if that makes sense. So definitely the most affectionate and loyal dog you'll ever have. Another fact is the difference between the Amstaff and the English Staffy, okay? I call them English Staffy. A lot of people online, they're like, oh, they're not called an English Staffy. The only reason I say that is because, you know, I don't want to stay Staffordshire Bull Terrier every time. And they're from England. And if you say just Staffy here in the United States, they assume Amstaff because the Staffordshire Bull Terrier is so rare in the States. If you're watching this video and you're living in the United States, you've probably never seen one. I never seen one before Shadow. And I have yet to see another one since I've owned them and I go to dog parks all the time. My neighbor actually met Shadow and liked him so much he's flying to California to actually pick out a Staffy that he got from a breeder out there. So they're going to be much smaller in stature. Their max weight should be around 38 pounds so if they're over you know 40 pounds and they're getting overweight Shadow's like 45 pounds, so he's a little he's a little fatty. But yeah, they stand around 16 inches tall. Their max weight for males should be about 38, and I think for females it's around like 32 or something like that. And they just look different from pit bulls and Amstaffs. You look at an Amstaff's face, I can tell right away. And there's so many videos online, and they're talking about the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. And I'll look, and I'm like, that's not even a, that's a that's an Amstaff. It's pretty easy to get them confused. But uh, if you're making a video about it, I don't, I don't get how you can not know the difference. I know like right away, as soon as I see a Staffy's face, I, I know it's a Staffy. So I'll put up some comparisons. On the right, you'll see a Staffy. On the left, you'll see either an Amstaff or a Pitbull. I'm not saying pit bulls and amstaffs are very similar. They're of actually a very different breed as far as their demeanor and all, you know, all this stuff. Experts can tell you all about that, but their their size and you know their strengths and stuff like that are very their physical strength are very similar between amstaffs and pit bulls. But the staffy is much smaller. They're considered a mid-sized dog. Now another fun fact is they're so good with kids that they got the nickname of the nanny dog. Okay, don't get this confused with the Amstaff. A lot of people think the Amstaff is the nanny dog. The Staffordshire Bull Terrier is the nanny dog. Although Amstaffs, you know, they may be great with kids. The nickname didn't originate from the Amstaff. It originated from the English Staffy, the Staffordshire Bull Terrier. And I have to tell you, yes, of course, they're, they're great with kids, 
but you have to be careful. Although they're great with kids and they're just gonna lick them to death, they're super strong and they like to jump. So don't be surprised if you have a toddler running around and your staff he goes and he jumps and knocks over your kid, you know, um, you could get hurt. So just watch out for that. They're great with kids, but you got to uh, definitely train them to, you know, watch the jumping and stuff like that. And I actually have a daughter on the way, so I'm sure I'm gonna make some videos about how Shadow is with my new baby on the way. But they're smart. I guarantee he's gonna pick up on, you know, I have to be extremely gentle with the new baby or else I'm gonna kick his ass. Now this is a fact that you're not gonna maybe read online, but I just found it personally and I found it in the comment section on my other videos about staffies. Staffies rarely bark. You might have some staffies, some outliers out there, but through my comments and through having Shadow, I probably heard him bark maybe 20 times throughout owning him this entire time. He does, however, he makes like noises and stuff like that. He's very vocal. They're a very quiet breed, so if you're looking for a breed that, you know, you're, you're not looking to bark at cars running, going down the street and stuff like that, Staffy is the perfect dog for you. Now this is one thing I want all people that are considering getting a Staffy to know, is they love going to the park, they love playing, but they don't know when to quit. Okay, I was in New York with Shadow, and he loves my brother's lab, okay? It's a big dog, and they're always playing and running outside, and it was a hot day in New York, and he just, does not know when to quit. If he's having fun, he will literally start, like he was breathing so hard, he's making all these noises and it scared me. We we're on our way to the vet and luckily we had the air conditioning on him and it cooled him down. But yeah, they do not know when to quit. So this actually happened to me once here as well in Arizona, but I had him at the park and he was just having fun, you know, going crazy. And all of a sudden I look at him and he's just like totally out of breath and it scared the crap out of me. So just be careful. You have to be the one to say, okay, we're done, we gotta go. And another fact that I did not know is they're a very healthy breed. They um, live to about 12 to 15 years, a little bit longer than Amstaffs and pit bulls, and they have a little bit less of the hip dysplasia that you'll often see in the pit bulls and the Amstaff. So if you guys go to a good breeder, you probably won't have any health issues or anything like that. And in the, and in the United States, you know, you can look in shelters, but you're really not gonna find any uh, purebred Staffordshire Bull Terriers. You're gonna have to uh, go on the AKC website and actually look for a, a staffy on there because they're not popular in the United States. I actually have a video if you guys wanna check it out about where you can get a staffy. So I made a whole video on that if you guys want to. But thanks so much for watching. Staffies are such a fun and awesome breed. So anybody considering getting one, you're not gonna regret it. Um, just make sure that you can spend a lot of time with them. If you're someone who works you know, 12 hour days and you just want a lap dog, this definitely is not the dog for you. They need a lot of exercise. Um, being in Arizona, you have to be careful about high heat situations. So they don't do good in very, very high heat. So just keep that in mind wherever you guys live. So they're not gonna be an outdoor dog if you live in hotter climates like Arizona. So yeah guys, thanks for watching. More videos to come. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I'll see you guys next time.